Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I am Sun, and this is Daily Rambles. Today we are doing Avatar The Last Airbender, Season 1, Episode 4, called The Wars of Kyoshi. So we start off the episode with Zuko is um, training by meditation and trying to calm himself. So he's, like the flames are like going up and down with his breath. So Iroh interrupts and has bad news for Zuko about the whereabouts of the Avatar. And he just like blows up and, like, and the flames go all the way up to the ceiling. And um, basically he's like, um, have no idea where he is because um, they, he's just jumping around from place to place to place. And he's like, oh, he must be a mastermind of what he's doing. Then we go back to Aang where he was just like, it's like, it's like, you don't know where you're going, are you? He's like, nah, it's around water. I know that. And they're in the middle of the ocean. So that was really funny. So they land on this island of Kyoshi to ride the elephant koi. And so he's doing this. It's actually really cool um, looking. And um, he's doing really good. But he's trying to get Katara's attention. And it's kind of working kind of not. And um, he's been doing... That's like the theme of this episode. So when he's riding the koi, Appa was eating something they shouldn't. So... Katara went to go um, help Appa, and so um, then the Unagi shows up and literally and bolts it and literally decks like Sokka in the face almost. <laughs> and then we cut to where uh, so uh, they are getting dressed and well, they're about to leave. Then the Kyoshi warriors. I uh, take them down and then Sokka slams them when they are tied up against the um, the big statue of Kyoshi. And he's like, where are the men that took us? Like, and Suki, the leader, was like, I like, slash we did it, not no, no guy did it. And then Aang proves that he's an airbender because they don't believe him. And now it's crazy fun time. Um, to where everyone's like, like so excited. And one guy literally is literally, he's like a crazy fan and like literally foams at the mouth and collapses. And then news is starting to spread and that news got told to Zuko. So they're readying the, um, the rhino lizards. Then we cut to where so um, Sokka is scowling now just because like, you know, a bunch of girls beat him and but they're not just girls they're warriors so <laughs> anyway so um Aang is now super popular and it's starting to go to his head so um Sokka interrupts the Kyoshi uh, warriors lesson and does a demonstration that was a huge fail so Suki totally showed him up and then we got to where Aang talks to Katara and uh she he won't help her with like some um, food for the trip and Aang doesn't want to leave and they start to bicker uh, then she storms off then Mikoto Osaka goes back and wants Suki to train him and he's take a big helping humble pie and he's like okay well I'll say I don't know everything y'all are very skilled warriors and I'm very sorry will you please teach me so they put him in the um, official uniform. <laughs> so basically, he's in a dress and has makeup to look like Kyoshi. So he's one in their style. So then we cut to where, uh, uh so more bickering between uh, Katara and Aang because he's gonna go ride the Unagi. Then Sokka um, is doing the training, he's actually getting a lot better. And then we cut to where the fangirls with Aang are getting very bored. And then Katara showed up and everything's all better. But then Nagi got to him and got sent flying and got knocked out. So Katara managed to get him and uh, got away. And then she sees Suko is coming and uh, she helps Aang come back to consciousness by removing the water from his chest. Which I think is a pretty cool uh, trick for water bending, and then we cut to where Zuko sets fire to the village, and then the warriors attack, and have a really cool fight scene. Then versus Aang, then the town is a total wreck, and then now Aang feels super 
uh, guilty. And so Sokka and Suki have this really uh, moment and where they flirt and she kisses him goodbye. Then Team Avatar bolt, but Aang um, decided to change his mind and got the Unagi to put out the fire and then they leave. And that was the end of the episode. Really good episode. I really enjoyed it because we get, you know, Sokka gets a little bit of what he deserves. Like, he needed some of that humble pie because, like, he doesn't know everything. He's not good at everything, and he needs to learn that. And learns that girls can just be just as good or even sometimes better than the boys. That's a fact, so. Anyway, um... It was a really good episode because the really cool, I like the koi fish a lot. I thought that was really great. And I thought it was just an overall a really good episode. You get a little bit, like a touch more about Kyoshi, just a little bit, but not like a whole lot of information. But overall, I really, really enjoyed it. And um, I like the progression of like, you know, Aang was like, at first he didn't want to be a bother, but then when he got super popular, it kind of went to his head. And then when Zuko tapped, he's like, oh, my actions have consequences. So, yeah, I need to bring it back. And he also got some humble pie. So, anyway, really good episode. Really enjoyed it. And that's going to for this video. So, like this video, please go to like, comment down below. Tell me what you think. Do you agree, disagree? Tell me your thoughts down below. And don't forget to subscribe because it does help out the channel a lot. And I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye, everybody.